Hello, welcome. We're going to take a look at the Hot Wheels Action Command Stone Go Base from Mattel. So this is going to look a little familiar if you watch the Service Center Fold Away Garage video. Another Hot Wheels item that it's almost identical as far as, well it is identical for the base and the ramps and everything, but different color scheme, different stickers and different objects. So the Service Center was actually originally titled Service Center Stow and Go Set. But mine says Fold Away Garage. If you watch that video, you'll see that's what that box is. But they went back to the Stow and Go. This came out like five years after the Service Center. And it's just a bunch of artwork rather than a photo here. Because they want to add explosions, make it look more exciting than it really is. There's also more cars featured here than than it comes with it comes with two cars a jeep and a tank this jeep and this tank and this is more detailed than what you get i know you can see a little bit of stuff in the frame here over here is what it comes with and then that's just more vehicles i have to to add to the set but they draw the army men they look realistic but of course what you actually get in the set are just your Generic army men, solid green all the way around. Okay, so there's the back. It's just telling you what exactly is in the set. Like 12 soldiers, flagpole, four gas tank clusters. And these are other vehicles you can get. Though it does picture the two that come with it. Called Big Bertha and Roll Patrol. Jeep CJ. So let me get it out of the box here. Of course, the legs are right there. Open them up. And these little clips. about right and the handle of course is also a sign so I do have the service center here to refresh your memory so you can get a quick comparison getting them both in frame not exactly gonna happen so I'm just gonna drop it in front kind of pull it back so you can see so the service center it's a lighter color it's a bit more pleasing to the eye, more colors, you know, the stickers are more welcoming because it's a, like a little town service center area, whereas the other one's, you know, military themed. But this one has garage doors, a bell for the gas pump, a car wash, this thing they call the dynamo meter that, you know, you can like turn the wheels, it feels a little stuck right now, but it rotates and as the elevator up top but this lacks a lot of those things let's get that out of the way you know the dynamo meter is not here it's just something you can park on so there's nothing to turn the wheels the garages have no doors and of course there's no gas pump bell car wash so it's fairly empty by comparison which is why includes all these accessories so as this flag which is poorly done by me I guess <laughs> you have to wrap the sticker around evenly but it's a little off-center then they have these guns that you're just supposed to place there's that one and there's two smaller ones or in the picture they basically put them like here and here And oh, I don't know how to set all these little things up, but you get all these sandbags, like a lot of them. They're just all plastic, of course. These are the, the gas canister clusters. It just looks like a pile of gas cans. It's just background stuff that really, something like that could have just been drawn on. They're not 
<laughs> you're not gonna really play with this, I guess. I don't know. You get four of them. I'm not sure what you're gonna do with them all. And you can tell I don't love this set. It's fine. It was the only one you have, but compared to the service center, that one's much more fun, I think. This one feels more like playing with army men rather than die cast cars is really, I guess, what, what it comes down to. So, I'm not going to stick everything in here, but, you know, you get little army men. And, of course, the scale isn't accurate as far as... Yeah, you're gonna play with the die cast cars, but you know, here's a Jeep, and here's a guy. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's not to scale. And here's a tank, which is actually smaller than the Jeep, which <laughs> doesn't make much sense either, but uh, that's what you get. Of course, the elevator. And I can place all these army guys, but. And it just takes away from where you can drive the cars because you don't really get left with a lot of space if you set all this stuff up. You only get really the, the ramp and then it gets a little space here. Now it also comes with this platform. You're supposed to put on these stilts. One of these is broken but I did glue it but it doesn't stand perfectly straight. I think it's probably that one. So just about these down here and there's this platform. The balance is <laughs> about to fall because that one's it's just not too straight. And then in the picture, and they wanted to stack barrels up here. You probably see where this is going. <laughs> you know, run a car down the ramp and knock it everything over. I think I dropped barrels, I don't know where they all rolled to, but there you go, I got five. So you can use the tank, of course it has wheels, or the Jeep. Jeep's a bit faster, but maybe I should use that. And there you go, you knocked everything over <laughs> and you gotta set it back up. So, yeah, it's not bad, but I think it's better if you don't use all these accessories, even though that makes it a bit empty. You know, you clear out the army man, you can just drive cars around. Now, Hot Wheels makes, you know, made some arch or military themed cars, but I have a lot more Matchbox. So, for Hot Wheels, I have another Jeep, just with a different design, but it's the same Jeep. And this vehicle here, but that's it for Hot Wheels. Look at a lot of matchbox which are I think a lot cooler as far as the design this has you know troop transport with a, a gun that rotates it's like a boat it says swamp rats on the side it has wheels yeah, I don't need to show all of these I guess I like this one here the Jeep I have it towing the cannon this cannon comes off as a rotating gun And then this one, the guy, he's a guy with binoculars that rotates as you drive. And then an ambulance that clicks as a, like a siren type thing. Yeah, a lot of these are missing treads. They have some really old vehicles. So that's basically it, but I do have another comparison. <laughs> this. Now this one is like a knockoff, but you know, it's not completely bad. Let's see if I can get this in here. It's probably going to blur putting up to the camera. It's called the Play and Carry Combat Command. So, very similar name, and I don't know what year this is from. The company is Durham Industries, but it's clearly a knockoff. It says on the box, you know, compatible with Hot Wheels, Matchbox, but it's it's not terrible. <laughs> it's like some people might actually like this one better. So I, know I should probably move this, even though it's the main feature here. <laughs> now this has a lot more plastic parts. It doesn't come with any vehicles. 
because you know they just made the set and want you to use your own vehicles. Similar thing going on here where there's clips. There's a lot of plastic stuff in here. And the legs came out as <laughs> I moved all this stuff around. So there you go. So it has like these little buildings, which are probably better than what you know those sandbags. It just it comes with all these cheap plastic army pieces, cannons, jeeps, tanks, trucks. Identical army men. They're a different shade of green, but they're identical. There might be a few different designs, but some of them are, are exactly the same. This building is just uh, snaps together here. Something like this and sits over here. But this one it doesn't have as much clutter, even though I mean, you could just get not use any of that junk. <laughs> and you get a much larger area to drive around in. It's just the plastic is clearly flimsier. It's not as sturdy as Mattel's. It's cheaper. But I don't think it's too bad as far as you know, just playing with die cast cars. You get a lot more space to drive around in. Because this area up here is basically as open as the area at the bottom. A lot of stickers. Hot Wheels stickers aren't that great. I think these are a little more interesting, like a bomb that didn't go off, or these are say, landmine stickers, a lot of explosion stickers, so really not a bad knockoff. It outdoes, I think, Mattel's version in a number of ways. It's not as well built. This, these clips come apart pretty easily, too. You know, I'm not positive of the pricing on these things, but it does have a price tag on the Action Command box. However, it's from Reed's, and I don't think Reed's would have given the best deal. It says, um, not that you can see it, it says $29.50 on this tag. Reed's is more like a department store. It's not a toy store. You know, it has clothing and electronics and things like that. Probably just a small toy section. So it's probably 25 range. Maybe it was 30. This is 1984, like I said. It came out a few years after the service center. And of course, I do have a blog post with photos of everything. So you can see the comparisons much better than me trying to jam everything into the camera frame here. But it's a nice carry set. It's just like I said, the service center I think is, is the better bet if you had to choose one. But it's nice it comes with two cars at least. The service center only came with one, but originally when it was the stow and go set, it didn't come with any. But you can buy these cars separately, so if you want to get the cars, you, can, you don't need the set. So that is it. Check out the blog entry for a little bit more. And thanks for watching.